Peter Quintella, Dennis in the Auditing, and today I'd like to welcome you aboard Pronto, a 2022 custom spec built 80 power sunroof. Come on, let's take a look. We're going to start today's tour on Pronto up here in the Flybridge, one of my favorite spaces. This is a tremendous space with 69 square meters of outdoor space. Protected by this hard top with custom inlaid lighting and teak wood. To the starboard here, we have a cabinet with refrigerator, sink, and champagne chiller. Moving up to the starboard side, you have a nice clean floating helm that has everything redundant to what the lower station has. We're gonna shift over from starboard to port side you notice the sun cushions right here, great space to hang out while you're cruising in the islands. Triple seats over here for additional guest seating. One of my favorite areas of the boat is this huge outdoor bar with custom seating. All came in from Italy. This is where all the magic happens. You've got everything you need back here for entertaining 20 of your favorite friends. Another important feature I'd like to point out that is concealed is the whole perimeter of the hardtop has a hidden clear curtain that rolls down to protect your guests from any foul weather. What I really love about the Flybridge area is this is the perfect platform for a large family gathering. Dining for eight, aft seating area here, or if you want a successful charter program, this is the ideal yacht to set up. Coming down from the flybridge to the aft deck, this is a really wonderful protected space from the weather. Dining for up to 10. Right over here, you've got your cabinet with refrigerator. There's an additional sink over here. Underneath this aft bench seat and sun pad area is a concealed garage that has a Sea-Doo GTX on a elevator that lowers down into the water but on both sides of it, there's storage for your snorkel equipment. There's also a fueling station for the Williams diesel jet tender and a gasoline storage pump for the filling of the jet ski. Heading over to the port side, I'd like to point out this beautiful lounging area here. This is a great spot while you're underway cruising in open water to curl up with your favorite novel and just enjoy the scenery. After you come in from a nice dip in the ocean, you just step right here Look up, you got a beautiful rain shower overhead to get all the salt off so you don't feel like a potato chip when you dry off. Underfoot right here, down this hatch, you have access to your port engine and machinery. And you have another equal hatch on the starboard side to access your starboard engine and all the machinery on that side. Just as you're down in the engine room, notice that she's powered with the upgraded uh, V8 uh, Man 1200 horsepower engines, which gives you a top end speed of 20 to 21 knots. The boat was also specced out with the upgraded Northern Lights twin 32 kilowatt generators, as well as a inverter system that allows you to go silent overnight for up to nine hours. From here, we're gonna go down and check out the galley area and the captain and Stu's cabin. Come on, let's take a look. Coming down the galley area and crew space, You'll notice right in front of you is a large commercial refrigerator freezer package. Under the cabinets here, under the countertops, you have your side-by-side -side washer dryers. Commercial appliances include built-in Gaginal oven, microwave convections. You have a Siemens cooktop, all induction, Gaginal dishwasher, all high-end appliances. The chef has plenty of room to prepare food for your guests and enjoyment. Forward of the galley is a crew area to hang out for up to three. You have a TV, your ship's computer for controlling all the lighting and HVAC. You have over and under berths with an ensuite head and separate shower for your captain and stew. You're gonna head over to the starboard side to the guest cabin that has the Pullman. Head down. There's a common theme throughout the yacht with the heads and showers. They carry through and have a balance throughout the boat. The designer and the owner selected two different pallets and they are staggered throughout the boat in each cabin. Another really wonderful feature is 
the uh, rain shower heads in every shower. Let's head up to the bow right now. I'm going to put my sunglasses on because it's pretty bright out here. I want to point out how wide these decks are. It's incredibly safe to get around, whether you have young children or elderly friends. This is just a tremendous walk around you don't see on yachts of this length. Incredible space up here for 25 of your closest friends. The largest set of sun pad recliners in the market. Opposing dining, center line jacuzzi tub for four. This is just absolutely incredible. What a great place to hang out while you're cruising. Safe, protected, doesn't get any better than this. We're gonna transition into the salon area through this hydraulic door, which is a great way for your crew to service your guests' food and drinks. We're gonna transition from the bow area into the main interior living space. This is just a tremendous amount of volume in here, 57 square meters. As you look around, it's just such a great place for a gathering of a large family or friends. Center line, you have dining for up to eight. Over here, the starboard side, you've got the lower station. All the equipment here mimics what's up in the flybridge. The helm seats are upgraded over the standard seats to Norsap, which has a nice fine Italian leather wrap on it. Just behind the helm seat and the guest cabin stairwell, you have a coffee station that has tons of storage for everything you need here. You can have your coffee or espresso. There's snack storage back in here, all behind both rows of sofas. There's hidden storage back in there. One thing, the theme throughout this boat, no matter where you go, is storage. There's amazing amount of it. The owner's interior designer selected the entire palette. It's more Italian inspired. The furniture, the chairs, everything you see was shipped in from Italy, specifically for this boat. The outside furniture, the upstairs furniture, all shipped in from Italy. There's an option on some of the boats for a galley up. They chose to have the additional sofa seating here so you can gather more people. Continuing forward from the aft salon area, you have a workstation or a desk for the captain or an owner if they choose to work remotely. Uh, each area of the boat has a charging port and station. The outlets are both European and US so that the boat can be enjoyed globally. Continuing forward of the workstation, you have your Hozaki um, ice maker, which makes some of the best ice in the world for your cocktails. One of my favorites. Forward of that, you have two wine chillers. You have a, a sink with a full dishwasher. This is considered a summer kitchen. A really great feature on this yacht for carrying less bottled water and creating more trash it has a special uh, filtered water system on board that allows you to get um, water, drinking water, out of each faucet that has eight to 10 parts per million. Some of the best water you can ever have. They've done a wonderful thing on this boat and that is conceal the TV. Not a lot of people want to see the TV in their living spaces, so uh, they took it and actually recessed it here into the ceiling. So the great placement of the TV is, is that everybody in both sides of the salon has a great perspective of watching a movie, the news, or your favorite sports team. Also, the fact that you can open up the entire panoramic sliding doors and watch it from the dining table out on the aft deck. So the theme that the designer and the owner came up with when specking out this boat was is to bring the outside and the inside together as one space. When you open up these panoramic doors, they carry the teak from the deck to the inside. This way it has the same vibe and feel going all the way through from bow to stern. Gonna head down to the owner's cabin. Entering into the owner's cabin, you immediately have a large closet right in front of you. Uh, as you transition forward, you're going to notice a, a built-in desk with a makeup table, a Sony flat screen LED TV, center lined in the cabin is a Marine King flanked by two nightstands with charging stations. The headrest is leather wrapped just like a woman's fine handbag. Continuing forward, you're going to enter into 
head number one, which could be his or hers, with ensuite shower. Walking aft in the cabin space, you have an additional head and shower that's beautifully finished in a turquoise palette. And coming down the guest cabin stairs, just to your right, we're gonna enter into the second VIP cabin. She has a centerline marine queen flanked by two nightstands with charging ports. The backrest is symmetrical with the other staterooms, leather wrapped like a fine handbag. You have triple vertical windows here to allow natural light to pour into the stateroom. There's a large LG flat screen TV mounted on the overhead. Continuing aft, you're gonna enter into a beautifully finished head with a rain shower shower stall. Walking forward, we're gonna enter into the guest cabin that has split single berths. Again, triple large port lights that allow natural light to pour into this cavity space. Large LG flat screen TV, all built in storage. The storage underneath the berth as well. You walk into a very large head with separate shower stall and rain shower head. I want to thank you very much for taking a tour of Pronto with me today. If you'd like to set up your own personal showing, please contact me via text, call, or email. Thanks.